Time for our pet of the week. Shar Carey with Paws and Claws joins us with Venus. Venus is exploring, seeing what's going on here in the she studio. Is. She's very curious. Thanks for being here, Shar. <laughs> well, it's good to be here, and I'm glad we can show this beautiful little kitty because yes. she is just a sweetheart, Cami. She's been at Paws and Claws since about the middle of December. Um, she was found as just as a stray out on her own in Casson. And, and when they found her and, and brought her to us, it was obvious that she'd had some kind of trauma to her, her jaw, her, her face. And so when she had her veterinary exam, it was found out that she had a previous jaw fracture okay. that had healed improperly. So she wasn't completely aligned, her upper and lower jaw. And she was missing some teeth. And then some of her, her upper incisors were completely gone and the lower ones were kind of biting into the tissue of her upper upper mouth, so that was hurting her. So they had to re do some tissue repair and then um, just pull the broken teeth. And so she's healed beautifully. And when you look at her now, you can't really see no. that her jaws are misaligned. So. And she doesn't look to be in any pain. No, she's doing fine. She can eat dry cat food, but we're, we've been giving her canned cat food, and she does prefer that. Oh, and I'm okay. sure that the dry hurts her a little bit, but she can, she gets by and she's well nourished. And so she's just a little over a year old. She's spayed and she's had her vaccines. and kind of looking around like where am I and what is all this? <laughs> so pretty and her eyes are so pretty. Yeah, she has big, big green eyes. Yeah, you can't quite pick it up perfectly on camera, but when you're right yeah, here in person, her eyes the, are so the, green. The big eye treatment, but yeah, yes. she's just a really sweet kitty. And so she would she would love to have a new home for the for the year, yeah. for the new year, a permanent forever home. So and we're hoping that maybe today's exposure will help a little yes, bit. Yes, hopefully, and she has yeah. her shots. She's had all her shots. And yeah. um, she also was fortunate to use some of that veterinary care that yes. Paws and Claws does have, and you yeah. have numerous fundraisers throughout the year, and That's a lot of that right. money does go to services like that, That's correct? right, Cami. We, we have to have this fund because so many animals come in, they're either ill or injured, or a lot of times the reason for folks having to give up their animals is that they've had an injury or an illness or something and they can't afford the veterinary care. And so whenever we can and we have the funds, we'll step in and, and try to get this accomplished for the animal. And we're very fortunate to have really caring members and, and supporters in the public that when they hear about a situation, They'll, they'll donate yes. to help out, and so that always is nice. So it's for anybody that's donated to the Emergency Veterinary Fund, here's, here's, a, yes. here's a recipient. Fortunate <laughs> to have such kind people in our community. Yes. So Venus is ad available for adoption. You can go to our website to learn more about her. You can stop on over at Paws and Claws or give them a call if you would like to adopt Venus. Char, thanks so much for being here. You mentioned Thank Stella. You. We th I, I looked at the website today and it looks like Stella has gotten okay, adopted. The mama the dog from last the week. The mom. The little puppies are still there. Okay. And <laughs> the constellation puppies. Yeah, the constellation, constellation puppies. And you know, it takes a special person to raise a puppy. Yes. I think it's a 24 7 job. Yes, so but if you'd like to, luck. <laughs> again, we have more details on our website. Char Venus, thank you guys so much for being thank here. Thank you, Cami.